Good morning, ESM. Hey, Uncle Richie here doing our Fist Pump Friday. Hey, I hope it all is well going into spring break. Hey, no, regardless of what you believe, your faith or whatever, have a blessed uh, break, peace, love, hope, forgiveness. Hope that all happens this week for you and your family. Hey, also, uh, yeah, and when we come back, dang, it's going to fly. So make sure you're staying up on your work. All right, staying in touch with your teachers and whatnot. Hey, and yeah, ooh, hi, Mr. Turtle, how are you? Hey, um, fist bumps, yeah. These are the people that have shown uh, great attributes here at school, professionalism, respect, involvement, diversity, and excellence. That's our PRIDE acronym. So we want to uh, rem remember them. And also we have Spartan PRIDE trivia game win winners. So we have a lot going on. Without a further ado, let's get going. So the Spartan of the Quarter for ninth grade was Emily Hughes, nominated by Miss Hinman. Woo! We got uh, Emma Hajevic, nominated by Miss Walzozik uh, in 10th grade. Great job. Woo! We've got uh, Laura Sitnik, nominated by Miss Russo. Woo! And 12th grade, we've got... Uh, Laron Jefferson, nominated by Miss Corbett. Woo, congrats. Those were our Spartan of the Quarters. Now our March Fist Pump winners. We got Connor Strong from Miss Kakamo. Woo. We got Lauren Hennessy from Miss Shug. Woo. We got Madison Hill from Miss Keebler. Woo. We got Anupa Dalla from Miss Carucci. Woo. We got Priscilla Allen from Mrs. Lorenzo. Woo! And last but not least, our Spartan Pride trivia winners. We got Christian Moon. Yes! We got Cody Smith. Woo! We got Maddie Russo. Yeah! We got Jamie Duff. All right! And we got Morgan Ransom. These were all Spartan Pride trivia game winners. That's it for today. Have a great break, and we'll see you when we come back. Richie loves you. Good morning, ESM. Today is March 26, 2021, and today we're going to be talking about something that's been in the news a lot lately, which is mental health and how this pandemic has affected it. So first, we're going to throw it to Olivia with news. On Wednesday, a 22-year-old man who police say went into a grocery store in Atlanta carrying a rifle and was later found to have six guns and body armor was arrested. The incident happened around 1.30 p.m p.m. at a public supermarket. The man, Rico Marley, went into the bathroom and officers were waiting for him when he left. The Atlanta Police Department released a statement yesterday saying at the time of his arrest he had a total of six firearms in his possession. The Ever Given, a 1,300 foot long container ship, ran aground in the Suez Canal on Tuesday after being caught in a 40 knot winds and a sandstorm. The vessel, which weighs more than 224,000 tons, became wedged in the canal and could block one of the world's busiest waterways for days or even weeks, according to some experts. Authorities attempted to refloat the vessel on Thursday, but were unsuccessful in their efforts. There are currently over 160 ships carrying fuel and cargo that are blocked in the canal. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Spartans, Student Forum is back. Please come join Student Council to voice your opinions and concerns. We will meet in the large cafe on Friday, March 26th during third block. If you are a virtual student, a Google Meet link will be posted in your Google Classroom on that day. We will be discussing the pros and cons of hybrid learning and what we as a community can do to bring out our ESM spirit. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Hart or email him at rhart at esmschools.org. All lifters, the weight room will be open during spring break from 2 to 4 p.m. on Monday the 29th, Tuesday the 30th, and Thursday the 1st. Please contact, contact Coach Gillespie if you have any questions. 
So today we have with us Ms. Smith, which is one of our school psychologists and leaders in the Sources of Strength. Yesterday we had a news story talking about the events at Lemoyne College following the death of one of their students. So do you think this story has been an isolated case over this year? No, I think that this is something that we've seen throughout the course of the pandemic, that people are struggling with mental health and, and feel, you know, what the feelings of isolation have brought upon them. So what about at our high school specifically? So what hit on, I'm sure students here at our high school have been struggling and we've been doing a lot of work down in the counseling office, but it, the story yesterday, it dawned on me that um, people here may not know this year in particular because we're in so many different learning models that there are supports if you need them here um, that, that people can reach out for. You know, mm -hmm. just nationally, there's a suicide prevention hotline. Here at ESM High School, we have the principal's hotline. Um, we run a system here called Sources of Strength that looks to not so much focus on stories of trauma or, or hurt, but really focus on uh, hope and perseverance and resilience and the protective factors that go along with that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I just wanted to make sure I came here today and people realized because of the Lemoyne College students that reached out yesterday um, protesting to want to have some extra mental health mm -hmm. support, I wanted to make sure that students here knew that there are people and places and, and things in place if you're feeling um, da sad, isolated, or alone. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. So do you think that there has been an overall increase in stress among students? Oh, absolutely. Like, think about yourself, right? Mm -hmm. I think going from shutdown last year to returning this year and, and all the challenges that have come with it, yeah. I think it's, it's, a, it's easy to say that everybody mm -hmm. has had extra stress. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have any final thoughts or advice for us here? Um, I just want people to know that you're not alone. Mm -hmm. um, we need to work together to break the codes of silence. Um, if you see someone struggling, we need to be really good at reaching out, connecting them to people who can help. Um, d you know, we're, yeah. we're all in this together. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So now we're going to go to weather with Gabby. windy with possible thunderstorms of the high of 66. Tomorrow and Saturday will be mostly cloudy with highs in the mid to lower 50s. Monday will drop down in the 40s with possible snow showers. Tuesday will warm back up to 59 with mixed sun and clouds. Wednesday will be in the 60s with some sun and Thursday will drop back down into the 40s with some snow showers. I'm Gabby with the weather. Happy Friday, Central High School. This is Mrs. Ward telling you that we made it through another week and we're wrapping up our Pride Spirit Week. And I'm taking a moment to talk to you a little bit about excellence. So excellence isn't about meeting the standard, it's about setting the standard. In my professional life, I strive for excellence in two categories. One, for myself, what does it mean to be my best self? And how do I grow myself professionally learning more about what I'm passionate about, learning new skills, and how can I constantly be looking at how I need to reassess, uh, set higher goals once I reach them, you know, where is this really aligning with what my ultimate goal is? And then as a team, am I bringing my best self to my team? What benefits can I bring? What strengths can I bring? How do I utilize other people's strengths to help build us together as a unit? Um, so. It's really about what we do with our goals and how we align them and work hard to get to those, um, those steps. Now, what about excellence for students? So excellence is the result of caring what we do and of putting our very best effort into what we care about. So your personal excellence is gonna look different than somebody else's, but make sure that you're striving for what is important for you and what those goals are. So academic, social, personal, extracurricular, set your goal, reassess, 
make steps, take steps to get you there. When you do get there, set the bar higher. If you don't get there, then um, adjust the goal. Excellence is being your best self. Uh, have a great spring break. In upcoming games, the track team has their first meet at Liverpool on Saturday. No spectators allowed. The girls' volleyball team plays at 11.30 at home against Cortland. Last night in the NBA, there was, the trade deadline was at three as big names were moved. Nikola Vucevic was traded to the Bulls, Victor Oladipo was traded to the Heat, and Aaron Gordon was traded to the Nuggets. Last night, the Syracuse men's lacrosse team lost to the second-ranked team, Duke in the country, 15-14, as Stephen Rafis' last-second shot was saved by Mike Duke goalie Mike Adler. Chase Scanlon finished with four goals on the night, and Stephen Rafis finished with a hat trick. From everybody here from the morning show, from me, Tanner, and everybody else, have a great weekend and a spring break, and go Cubes.